but it's it, it's hard, isn't it? Because everything we do has a has an environmental impact. Wearing a shirt, this shirt has come from somewhere that has used energy, that's used water, that's used labour, that's used. Those people in those factories have to get to work somewhere. I I you know I, I ride a motorbike, I I drive a car that has an environmental impact. What what are we going to do? We're just going to base ourselves at home. In, in a modern society, we can't do that. I mean, there's, there's great steps at the moment in London to try and cut the pollution, but it seems to be more of an economic thing than an act actually, you know, cutting the pollution, to tell the truth. It seems to be a money-making thing um, with just giving lip service to, to ecology. Uh, it, it's a very hard question, isn't it? It's, um, as I said, it's given me a chance to put things aside for three months, you know? Mm. And, to, and I think what, 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 what it's done for me, and can only, I can only speak personally because I, I'm in lucky circumstances. I have a house, I have a garden, you know. I'm near the wetlands in, in, in North London, and that's, that's fabulous, and there's parks all around me, you know. Um, so I can only speak personally is that I kind of appreciated what I have, and a lot of that is to do with my family and relationships, and also the possessions that I've amassed as well to have a house and a garden. Is an extraordinary thing. I walk in my back garden, and just to, to the right of me, there's 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 blocks of flats that are thirty stories tall. You know, social housing, fantastic. But those poor people in those houses, stuck together in maybe two or three rooms. And this is not the you know this is not this is not a deprived area as such. I'm just very lucky to have what I have, and I think it's an appreciation of that. Um, this time has given me, you know. Thanks for speaking to me today. Not a pleasure, Wendy. It's been lovely to see you and your girl, <laughs> your beautiful girl. Yeah. And, um, I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Juliet Galatney, founder and director of Viva, said, three quarters of the world's new and emerging infectious diseases come from animals, mainly from trading in wildlife or from factory farming. And it's my fault. I'm responsible. I'm the consumer paying them to do my dirty work that could endanger us all. It was a long fight for it to be allowed as evidence. I'm in an abattoir. It's my first day. I remember being born. Thank you.